What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we got a lot of stuff to talk about because honestly, I honestly have a very good tips for you in this video. Before we get into the video, make sure to drop that like, drop that sub because that would be greatly appreciated. Also, obviously, follow that Twitter down below because we do empty giveaways on there. And if you guys want empty on Xbox, hit me up down below as well. But yo, guys, um, I actually have a lot to talk about in this video. Obviously, market wise, obviously, MT wise. So, I actually been noticing something. Um, so 2K is probably gonna drop a flash with a trailer tonight. That is my predictions. So, if you're watching this video, I would recommend selling every single card you have. Do not ask me in the comments. Literally, let's go. We're gonna go over the market anyways to prepare you and to what to sell, what to not to sell. But mostly every card in the game is gonna be sold. I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, uh, when they dropped Pink Diamond Glitch Giannis and they dropped some crazy cards and everyone sold their cards and then the market crashed, it didn't crash. Well, I'm gonna tell you now that it could possibly crash later so instead of taking any chances you could go ahead and sell your team like you don't have to listen to me but honestly i might have to sell this whole entire team because honestly i think it's time to go budget honestly i don't know if i want to have this team like i don't know we'll see but if i sell this team all I'm gonna say is I'm still gonna have this no money spent, bro. I'm still gonna have Brandon Roy and Bead. I'm still gonna have Levine. I'm still gonna have RJ Barrett. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure, but this is the reason why I'm saying sell now. Um, if you guys noticed, it looks like we could have a giant market crash. Like honestly, the opals are honestly all dropping in price. Like Big O, if you remember, I sold them for a 480. He's now freaking 280. So now that i'm thinking about it it looks like the opals are slowly dropping and it looks like something else really big might come out tomorrow and i'm thinking flash if flash comes out we're gonna see a big market crash if it's a good flash if you guys remember two weeks ago we had that huge update with the token market token market if they're not dropping any content on a thursday they gotta have big things and plans for friday because they want to make money bro everybody's home they gotta make a ton of money so obviously bro they have something in plan for friday I don't know what it is, but we're going to go over some cards and positions that I think we might see. So, honestly, MT-wise, bro, if you don't have at least 100k ready to snipe tomorrow, you're lacking. You need MT to snipe. Like, you need max MT, bro. If you don't have max MT, I don't know what to tell you. I literally tell you sell your whole team. If you don't want to listen, it's not my fault, bro. It's all you. But some things I've been saying... Over the past couple days, so as the, the days keep going on, they're gonna release opal cards that aren't as good as other opal cards. So what that means is the newer opal cards that aren't as good are gonna drive prices of other opal cards sooner or later. Which means you're gonna see opal card around bio probably within the next couple weeks. I would say the next three weeks. We're gonna see opal AI very soon on bio because honestly, this card is not good compared to anything. Um. Let me think. Ben Simmons Evo. He actually dropped a ton. The Prime set's not that good, I've noticed. And if you didn't sell your cards when I told you to sell your Prime cards, you took L's. Because the Prime set's low-key garbage. And actually, no one's doing it. No one wants KG. He's not a reward that anybody wants. So, if you guys remember, the other Prime set for, what was it, Ray Allen is worth a 100 times more. Probably double more. Than the new prize that just came out for KG. KG is actually not one in the community for a prime set reward. Um, like it really isn't. I don't know. I really I feel like it's cool and all, but like if you're gonna drop this Dirk Nowitzki with 42 All Fame badges, 
and he has 43 Hall of Fame badges. And honestly, I like Dirk more, even though he's a lot slower and a lot less athletic. I'm still going to choose this Dirk for 200k rather than buy Big O for 300k, buy Ben Simmons for 600k, buy KD for 400k. Like, there's no logic in my opinion. So if you really do want to lock in sets, like that's all on you. I will not be touching any sets. I think they're trash. I think sets will never be touched ever in my book. They're not worth it at all. So it's up to you, man. If you want to take my word, if you don't want to take my word, honestly, I don't really care. Just throwing out some tips for you guys. This spotlight sim, bro. Whoa, this is new. We got new content. Okay. Honestly, with like the new content coming tomorrow. I don't know what could happen. We did just get the spotlight sim though. Honestly, I was recording it and it came out. So here it is. Um, honestly, I'm big a fan of every single one of these cards. They're all insane cards. And I honestly will be sitting on this filter probably all day. Because if I get a snipe, I'm going to make MT. These cards are very good. And I kind of want to post some gameplay. If you guys didn't check out my Omari Spellman gameplay, make sure to go check that out as well. Because honestly, he's actually money. Make sure to go check that out. But yo, right now, some tips for you guys. I think something big's coming tomorrow. It looks like they're dropping Spotlight Sim twice a week, which is something very cool. I like the Spotlight Sim. Um, if someone could please go off with the Nasus on Tetsukupo, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, because it looks like we're not getting any more moments for the rest of the season. It looks like the 2K season has been dismissed. So um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep working with new content. We shall see what they're gonna put out. I'm honestly hyped about these cards. If you guys don't know, man, these cards are amazing. Like, straight up, they're amazing. So, make sure to go get these cards. Like, this Costas on Tetsukupo is amazing. Like, one of my favorite cards in the game. The new Kevin Knox rocking around this cheap is something else. Like, you could pretty much get your Opal clamped up by this Kevin Knox. Only thing I don't like is that the freaking auction's broken like you can't look up some of these cards by um name like it's literally broken i don't know why this kevin knox is dirt cheap he's already like 20k and he's absolutely amazing i'm gonna go over these stats wow so those tw there was some for 20k and he went up a ton i should have bought some wow yo there was two up for like 24k and i missed out and he's so expensive now because he's actually that good of a card this card is insane. I'm going to have to do some gameplay with him. But yo, right now, I would recommend selling cards. It looks like these Spotlight Sims they're dropping are actually that good. Like, these Spotlight Sims are amazing. They have a ton of Hall of Fame badges. And honestly, they're not... You don't even need Opals at this point. Like, literally, Spotlight Sims is actually that good. And I came to the conclusion that if you sell your team and pick up Spotlight Sim cards, they're literally better than the sum Opals. Um, they have a ton of badges. They're cheap, and you can keep a ton of MT, make more MT. But obviously, if you have, do have the MT, you're going to get Galaxy Opals. Like, Tyler Hero is one of the best shooters in the game. He's one of my favorite shooters in the game, and I honestly feel like I don't need anything else other than him. So, we're probably going to get Flash tomorrow. I really hope we do get Flash, because that will be interesting. If we get Flash, huge Ws in the chat. But yeah, guys, other than that really all i got for the video um i don't know man just make sure to keep doing your thing make sure to keep sniping make sure to stay on this snipe filter because this snipe filter is actually one of the best snipe filters in the game if you get anything you're gonna make minimum 20k plus and honestly something should pop up sooner or later lance stevenson is gonna be the really expensive card in this set but it's crazy how i feel like it they i feel like it's crazy how they kept tyler hero Lance Stevenson in the set. Like, I'm surprised they kept. It's actually really good. Really, really good. Um, Comparing him to Oval Simmons, it's actually close. And he could run point guard, which is cool. He could stop a lot of point guards. He has 29 all fame badges. Pretty much an Opal. He's literally better than my Opal Brandon Roy. So, we'll see how that goes. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We're probably going to post one more vid. After this, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.